Hi, this is Candy Javier Sakai from FTC, First Time Cooks, and I'm going today is a carbonara. Actually, it's so simple to do. Well, I've just prepared all my ingredients, which is very, very uh, easy for me to do. And I love carbonaras, anyway. And many people don't know how to do it from scratch. I do. <laughs> I always do it by scratch, anyway. So my ingredients today will be simply bacon and eggs. <laughs> That's it. No onions, no nothing. Nothing. Just bacon and eggs. That's the one I have only in my ref. So mm, make what what's possible about it. So I'm making carbonara. And right now I just start the spaghetti, which Ow! is going to run down by five ten minutes by boiling. I like it al dente. Of course, just 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 not like time with my fettuccine. I like it so so nice. And right now, here it is my ingredients, and I'm just pulling that this out. So you can see there. That's my ingredients: my milk, my cheese, and the cream that I'm going to use. The three eggs that I'm going to use. This is the three eggs. And bacons. Who doesn't want the? I mean, everybody loves bacon, but this is the that's the most useful one. Okay, if you're do, you cannot do use ham. I don't know how. I don't know for some people who use ham for their car carbonara, but for me, it's always bacon. It's always bacon. I never heard of people who will use ham anyway. But anyway, I just slice that into pieces. And it's simple to do, actually. It is very, very simple to do. Since we are, I'm just uh, waiting this uh, for my spaghetti to just turn al dente. Just switch. Going to switch to another space here. Oops. Then bring out the fry pan. Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> my dog is uh, getting attention. Then placing the oil that I want. And um, this is what you know, will notice. I put cheese on it. Many will just ask or watch this video. Why cheese? For me, I love cheese so much in my carbonara. It's me. It's it's more creamier, I think. For some people, it's an option actually if you're if you're not if you're going to put it or not. Actually, it's a really good option anyway. For me, I find it so creamy and I find it so delicious. Any kind of cheese will do, parmesan, whatever. I'm using a shred a shredded one, it which is mix. Mix, which means to say you have a different types of cheese in it. So right now, I'm just going to fry this bacon of mine. It will be fried in a low heat. It'll just fry it. Then just going to prepare my seasoning on it. Ah, I'm not forgetting about the garlic. Even though it's carbonara, I don't, I don't care. For me, I love garlic. I put always garlic in everything. In every cooking that I do which I find it so nice I mean if you love garlic for me this type of cooking will be the powdered excuse me the part of the powdered ones so I'm using the powdered garlic a very powdered one so basically this is it and a little salt will help so this is all the main ingredients that I'm going to use. The eggs will come later. Your cream. Your milk. I'm sorry for the measurement because why? I'm used to I'm used to cooking by this. That's why I don't have any measurements at all. I don't use measurements actually. 
because I'm using I I do this oftenly, so that's why I don't measure anything at all. Well, for first time cooks, you can uh, balance it actually by by look by uh, measuring it by cup by cups by one cup or one and a half cup or something like that. You can measure it actually, and it's so simple to do. Actually, they are doing that. <laughs> for me, I'm not. Yeah. I'm a first time cook, but I usually do this so I don't I don't use cups anymore. Then there's this before I before I place my pasta and everything, I place my seasoning first. This is me. I just want the flavor to get out. The bacon and everything, I just want the flavor to come out twice. Which I find very, very delicious enough. So, the, you have the pepper, the garlic, the salt, and everything. And then, if I have some milk left, I'm going to make pudding. I'm going to make pudding. watch this well your kid can do the bacon they cut it they can cut it in what kind of shape they, they want let the kid do the cutting and it will be fun by the kitchen your bacon cannot must must be crispy uh, it depends upon you how do you like your bacon and it really depends upon you some people like it very crispy some don't for me I just want it half so I can still have the crunchiness and still have the flavor in it then after that since I have three minutes for my pasta I'm going to put my milk on it half half of this pack then the cream everything the whole, the whole, and still it has a little bit left, so I just place a little bit milk on it. Okay, there you go. Then I'll just blend it to boil. Since I have my pasta, will be on three, two minutes, two minutes and forty-three seconds. It's okay. And upon placing that, I will just taste, okay? From this point, I'll, I'll taste whether I need to put some salt or pepper or whatsoever. Just to make sure I have the, prop, the proper taste of it. Just a, it needs a little more pepper. That's why everything you put in it, you make sure that you have a good taste. And the garlic, of course. And then from this point, wait, I have to taste it first, then I'll have to put the cheese. This is the way, my carbonara way actually. My way. You can have your own version for this, but this is my own version. So make, uh, experiment what you have uh, by, the, by your ref and what you have. Basically, that's it. So we're just putting it to boil and something.
We're just putting that in boil and something like that. Everything. And I want to make sure this is really tasty. Or else I'll put another salt again. Just, just a little more salt and it, it'll be fine. I love the taste of the bacon actually. It's yummy. And a little bit of pepper. Oops. So my pasta signal is there. My timer went off. My went off already. So I have to check it out. Now your milk, your sauce is just boiling. Just make it in a low heat. Place that in a very low heat. Everything will be fine. Then I'll tell, before I place my pasta out, drain it, have to taste it first. The last tasting. And before I drain my pasta, I will have to put the cheese inside of it. Just toss it in. Since it's in a low heat, it's okay. You can drain. Now you can drain. I can drain my pasta. I can drain my pasta right now. Okay, there we go have to drain this Oops. and there's a lot of water I have to drain it oops now upon putting this inside put it slowly not gradual, not instantly. There. There is no mixture. Many might think, where's the eggs? Wait a minute. The eggs will come very late, last. That's how I do my carbonara. I put my eggs the very last. So I'll just stir this up, blend it, everything. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Then this is the time that I'm going to put my eggs. This is the time I'm going to put my eggs. Three eggs, actually. There's a little bit, everything for me, uh, I, pl I put something so I can have this, all the mixture inside. I have to blend it perfectly. I want everything, I don't want to spoil everything. I just mix it up like that. 
So right now I just place the eggs and then I'll just stir it. So you can have the perfect blend of Why is my sauce a little bit, uh, it has a lot of sauce, why? By the t when you simmer this, upon taking off the heat, it will simmer. It will actually, the milk actually will, go, will simmer to the pasta and I just want more, I want a more tasty pasta. That's why I made a little more sauce of that. Two to three hours you cannot see anymore this the sauce it will simmer down and it will blend you perfectly and if you have garlic bread or something oh this is lovely this is only for my lunch and dinner too so you'll just well now the now the eggs is blended and everything it's done done this is good for three to four persons actually so the main ing ingredients are the bacons and the eggs basically that's it so if if you're having a lot of friends who's coming over and just having fun well this is nice for having a quick lunch or a quick snack or something like that it's very easy to do anyway so this is carbonara anyway and later on i'll be doing puddings so i hope you enjoy it and i hope this will be a nice tip for you since if, if you don't have anything inside your ref for me it's just bacon and eggs and that's simply that's it the simplest is the best so this is candy javier sakai for first time cooks bring it brought to you carbonara there it's for lunch and i hope you like it see ya